Hello everyone and welcome back to another Valheim video. We are here joined with Miss Piggy. <laughs> Just joking guys. This here is an awesome build that I've came up with. It's quite abstract, quite alien looking. It's very compact. It's got everything you need from early game to like bronze level. You can pretty much fit a lot into it. So I'll just give you a little walk around the outside. I'll fly it up so you can see the roof. You see it's got this UFO shape to it. I really love I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Yo. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Chill. I really loved uh, designing this one. But anyway, let me show you guys the inside. So coming in, we're greeted with the fire in the middle, which is quite a nice little center feature. We got the cauldron. And this does not go out during weather storms, rainstorms. It does not put the fire out. There's plenty of room for lots of storage, lots of chests. You can fit them under here. You could fit them. There's lots of shelves around. Uh, but then we've got a couple windows. You got one here. If we walk on this side, we got another one up here. And we got another one over there. You are able to fit in a max crafting table with the bits around. You can see here. And then on this side, we've also got a max forge. And we can fit in one of these for potions. You can fit a lot into this base and it's really quite nice. We got banners up there for more comfort. You can get quite a high comfort level in here. I think I'm on comfort 9 with all this stuff, but you know, you can go higher. Pretty much the whole thing. Really love making it. And I really love how... Yo. Still fast Yo. as fuck. I hope you guys enjoy it and make it in your worlds. If you do... Make sure to join my Discord and send me a screenshot because I'd love to see. So yeah, we're going to get into the tutorial. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you Come next time. <laughs> Do you have get any idea how fast I am? Alright everyone, so you are going to need a little bit of room for this one. Uh, just hoe yourself out some flat ground around the area that you want to build. Now, we're going to start by placing just one post just to get the height. And uh, you want to build a 3x3 three three coming off of it. Uh, this, you do want posts going straight into the ground. So I would put as many as you can because it will help with the stabilization when we come to do the roof and things like that. But basically, yeah, so it's a, or it's a 6x6 six six if you're counting in the Valheim meters. But a 3x3. Three with the one meter uh, with the two meter post sorry just like this let's put in that one oh whoopsies put in that one there that one there now just so you guys know in, fu in the future the ones in the middle like this one this one this one and this one they're all going to be removed anyway but this is just to give us the like inner shell if you wish so now what we want to do is create the parts for uh, this is either for your entrance or window whatever you want really uh, we're going to be bringing out one on each side connected up just like this and then you want to get this 45 degree post and have it lined up and then click it one to the right hand side and again have it lined up click one to the right hand side and then again lined up and click it one to the right hand side and then same with this have it lined up whoops have it lined up click it one to the left and then lined up one to the left and lined up and what oh, one to the left and it will create this nice little like cross in the middle looks quite quite nice and don't do what i do you need these posts going in the ground trust me you need these posts as many as you can afford i know you are going to be limited on resources i am in creative mode but as many as you can afford go chop another tree don't be lazy anyway so from here on out you want to do this on every single side so like exactly the same on every single side and don't be cheap put the post in Coming up on our last side, that's a click, that's a click, and that is now a click. So now we've got like an open flower sort of shape to this, uh, where you need to get the two meter post and bring it out from this side, 
and get your one meter and on another one meter and you can connect it to the ground with whatever one you want so we'll just use the two meter and then we're going to bring it up up and up and up and that connects it nicely to the top beam gives it a bit more stabilization so i'm going to go ahead and do that on each side all right so now that those are all done you can sort of see where we're going with this but not just yet we're going to be doing the core of it first before we figure out where the doorways and the windows are so next thing here we are going to bring this one here right up one two three and bring it up four on each corner here just like so and guys if you were enjoying builds like this please let me know subscribe do everything so just like this is how we want it and now you want to go ahead and get the 26 degree and we are gonna be clicking this so it's going against in the corner you don't want it attached to the pole you want it on the corner and have it so it's clicked outwards like this just like that it in and then we're gonna straighten it up so it clicks into the center of this post here so you can you can see here connects on this corner not this post this angled corner and then it wraps around and it and it clicks on that one so we're gonna do that to every single one I'll show you the the other side so you can have it straight and then you see how this is a snapping point there you want to snap onto this one but you you, you don't want to snap on it that angle you want to click it twice and then that's once and then so it goes straight onto this one you see so now we're going to do that to every side all right so i just finished doing all of those you can see how they all wrap around just like that it's starting to look a little bit weird <laughs> but trust trust the process guys trust it don't worry now we're going to add in these little uh sideways parts and you want to use uh the E or the Q on your keyboard just to do the different snapping points or if you're on console do it differently as well but we're gonna have it like that and like that you want to go to the other side and snap it in like that and just do this on every every side as well so like that and like this but it should look like this that looks fairly normal right so Hopefully yours looks like this. Okay, so now you just want to determine where your front door is going to be. And for me, because I like a good screenshot, I'm going to be placing my front door on this side. It's got good lighting. So from here, you want to attach a couple beams going straight like this. And you want to place these one meters as well. I went inside that one you don't want that and then just bring that across like this destroy that one and then you might want to bring this up just for a cleaner look and then this is the perfect place for a door and then now that we have now that we know where this is going to go uh we can pretty much destroy all of these centerpiece beams if you want to call it that there are centerpiece beams and then just place your stairs going around like this you don't need one there obviously and to make it look a little bit better place or you could actually what you could do instead of doing that you can place upside down pieces like this and then place one on top right you get me so upside down pieces pieces on top when they snap just like that upside down piece upside down piece and snap and snap and then here i mean we can just do this and we'll place a couple of little walls in here just for now uh just going whatever way you want it doesn't really matter they're not going to get seen but it's just for when you come in it looks a little bit tidier 
But this is pretty much the core center of everything we need here. You can now destroy this one. You can now destroy this one. And you can now destroy... Oh, repair that. You can now destroy that one as well. Alright, so now that we've got our entrance, there's two things that we need to do. There is this side, and there is that side. But we're going to connect up that there. We're going to connect up this one there. And then we're going to flatten this off. Just like that. So you want to flatten. And you want to place that one. And then you just want to get your... Uh, probably just the one by ones would be easier. And fill in all these gaps. Break these two. And I would recommend putting one there and one there and then it doesn't cut the stairs so we'll do that again on this side so i'm gonna have the the grain facing this way go one two and three destroy these two and then just go one and you gotta find the right snapping points but you should be able to get it so it looks clean just like that we're gonna do the same on the other side now all right so this is totally up to you for this next step but for me, I had it opposite my door, and this is where, where we're going to have like a main window. So I got the stairs, and we're going to feed it straight up from where the original stairs were. Obviously we broke that pillar that went across, and we're going to get these one by one floors and line it up with the stairs, and then coming outside, you want to get this uh, 26 degree cross that goes like this, and put two of them just like that. We're going to sort out all the outside after, so don't worry. But for now, that looks alright. We actually, what we can do is put a couple of these uh, walls like this. Let's repair that. And then, yeah, just put, oh, maybe not that one, actually. So we could put a wall here, just so it fills in like the gaps. But we're going to have it just like... Kind of like that. We want this nice little dip. It makes the window look not square, you know? It's like a nice little off hexagon kind of shape. And that's what I want. So when you're in the base, you know, you can go look outside and you've got more view. It's quite nice to look at instead of like a box. So from here on the left and the right side, I'm going to put some stairs in, but they're going to go out just a little bit further and then from there you should be able to just put on a nice little stair right there and if we do the same on this side flip it around and just make sure that it's lined up to the right beams and then you should be able to put a stair uh, a beam on the end of that just like this and then it will line up quite nicely so what I'm thinking now is we can fill in some of these gaps so you just want to take these big pieces and uh, prop it up against this side and then link it to that one. And then what we're going to do here is fairly simple. We're going to get these two or the one by one, link it there and attach it like this. We kind of go straight like that. And then just carry on this like fill it going all the way out uh, we'll do a half one there so just like this should be good and then we're gonna leave this little gap there there's not too much we can do about that one but here we can just put in one of those to fill in the gap a little bit more. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So that's the big piece. And then same here, big piece and then half piece like that. And then we have to go on the outside here to get a proper view. OK, 
Cool. So now that that's like that, we're going to do the same on the other side. I forgot to mention that I put these uh, 26, 26 angled pieces. They fit in really nicely in here, so you may as well. Well, pretty much we're going to fill that in on both of these sides as well. So we'll quickly do the pretty much the exact same thing here. Alright guys, so that's all of the walls filled in now. Should be pretty self-explanatory, but just watch the video. And now we're going to add in these like little window things that I've sort of created. Uh, I'm going to smash out these two. We can smash out that one as well. Just add in any type of lock. Uh, like floor, floor piece, shall I say. You can add a board around it if you want to. And just have a beam going up. You can carry it all the way up if you really want. But there's no need here. Let's just add a border going around these sides. So it looks a bit better, a little bit cleaner. Uh, you want to have a piece coming up like that. And you can either use this one. Or you can use the steeper one. I think... I think I prefer the steeper one, looks a little bit better, um, but that is going to work as like a little shelf, you can knock that out, and if we come in here, so that works as a little shelf, and also you just want to block this off, like that, so inside you can put whatever you want there, and it acts as like a little shelf, it's quite cool, and I'm going to be adding that onto pretty much all of the corners okay and so for the next part what we're going to focus on doing is making the roof for like these main parts so if we find with these uh, smaller pieces here if we find the medium which might be there yeah that seems all right we should be able to now attach one of these going up Attach a piece on there, and we want to attach a piece on there, and then again on there, and on there. Same on this side, like that. This one can connect together, like so, and then this one can go on top like that so it looks nice and tidy from underneath as well and I'm gonna do this on every single side right so for this next part let's put down two of these crosses uh, actually we're gonna put one cross then we're gonna uh, fill this in again we could just put one like this oh and just border off this I don't remember not doing that but yeah, and then to add a bit more detail, I'm just adding a backwards one down there. But yeah, if you want, you don't have to do this, but it looks a little bit better if you add another cross in there as well. And we're going to do the same on the other side now. And then I think what we may as well do now is just fill in all the bottom pieces. So it's not too difficult. Uh, you just want to get these pieces and these uh, one by ones as well. And just go around like that on the bottom and the reason we're doing this is because of the chests that are hidden or well, not hidden but the ones that are on the ground floor so uh, so they're not exposed basically so I'm just gonna f carry on going around the bottom doing this we are right back all right that's cool that looks good it's all finished up underneath now uh, so we want to make our way back inside and just come up to the windows and there's just going to be this little piece here. Uh, you can destroy that and you're not going to fall through the gap. But if we tried to place a wall, it's kind of just going to get in the way. Uh, so I'm just leaving that how it is. So destroy this beam here as well. And this one should be fine because this is one where we can actually walk all the way up to. Have a look around. 
and I'm now gonna uh, fill in this part. Oops. So if you wanted, you could have the wood all matching, go in the same direction, but I don't think it really matters too much. And yeah, just fill in as many little gaps as you can, just like that. Looks pretty good. We'll add some walls on the side of here, uh, and we can continue this little like beam, uh, this theme with the wood going along like that. And if you really wanted it matching, you can use the half walls instead, and the beams will actually match up. It might look a little bit tidier. So I think maybe we should do that. It's a bit fiddly coming into this section, but. And now that part as well. Cool, so that those match. So up here you can have it pretty much however you want. Um, I'm gonna be walling off this side. And again, we can use half walls to match those beams uh, to keep the pattern going across if you really wanted to do that. Um, you can see the trend going around, you know, like you could do that to all of these walls if you wanted, but yeah. Um, I'm doing this because this can give us another shelf, another bit of storage, you know what I mean? So we could put something else up here, uh, but this is where, now this is where all your chests are going to go, in these parts, hidden away. And you should be able to fit quite a few chests in there. Oh, we do need to fill in this part next. And now just destroy that. Like, there's a lot of destroying things, but it's because, um, we needed that to have the structure in the first place, so. Also, this is totally up to you guys when you make this, but you can, you know, have it so it's a wood floor going around, like this. Oops. on like that cool so yeah so that's in there um, and then this is where your fireplace is gonna go so we, we can uh, just add in a little bit of detail here but um, I have just a few of these one meter posts going around like this and then we have a border going around the bottom and then you just want to hold shift and, and slightly put this inside and do it again here put it slightly inside and again and again and that just makes it look a bit tidier also you can accidentally walk into the fire if you're doing it like this so if we place the fire down there you can't walk into it no matter how hard you try so when you're running around your base you know um, you could destroy these if you want and just have it like a little pit You know what I mean like this and that also looks quite nice um, It does look a bit more out of the way, so I might keep it like that But anyway, let's start to work on I think that's everything for this main part So we're gonna start designing like the roof um, Also right here, you know, this is quite quite plain as well uh, you could add in if you wanted you could probably just get a roof going like down like that now give it some curves oh that looks like there's a piece missing here uh, that's so I knew where the front door was gonna go and then we can also just put some a little stair piece there, make it so it's really flush walking in and out. But now time to do this top roof. Yeah, so this is quite cool. This is quite unique. Uh, we're gonna be bringing this, oh, this piece here out on an angle on each side. Like this. Then get your 26 degree beam going back inside. Like this. Like this. Like this. And then get your 45 degree going up on each side. Like 
cool just like that okay so now we've bought those up the next thing we are going to want to do in here is for some structural integrity to hold up the roof we're going to put in two meter posts just in like the sides of these parts so bring it in there bring it in there bring it in there um, and then from there you want to get this 26 degree angle piece and line it up just like this going all the way around and what's that what that's gonna do is just hold up the roof otherwise if you don't have this it's not gonna work but you can if you want just have this going up but um, if you want to place chests or anything in there that's this is gonna get in the way so this does it instead and then from there we get these two meter posts on this kind of angle um, just bring it out one two one two just like that one two and again one two oops it's all right because they hold each other up so it should that should work one two one two going around just like this kind of like a ufo <laughs> um and then from there we're just going to be sticking on these crosses going across the top and it's not going to be completely even but it doesn't really matter too much this is me from the future just showing you that uh whilst i was decorating the place um, I realized that the top of the roof kept falling off so you do need to get these 45 degree posts and just bring them up on each corner here and have them meet at the top and then at the top place just one of these instead of you'll see in the video I've been placing these but yeah just place one of those you can see it's bright red so that's on its last legs but it's it's gonna stay there now so just make sure you add in those beams and anyway back into the video and then just get your 26 degree roofs and go all the way around the bottom with them so now for the top part get your 45 degrees and you just want to snap onto these ones right here so it might try snap onto something else but you want to make sure it's snapped on like this uh, actually, I think that might be no, that's correct just like that and Get your 45 degrees and snap it onto the sides like that and Then just get a two meter post Pop it down in the middle and then when we come underneath because there's still a gap You want to get a 45 degree roof like this and you want to you want to snap it two it it would help actually if we've got uh, maybe like one of these going across let's just see this for a second so you can put in one of those and just have it attached yeah like that that works much better all right so it did just start raining but <laughs> that's all right so yeah, you want to have it like that, and we're going to be covering up this as well because this is literally just for show. It's not, it's not a chimney. So that's pretty much all of the top part of the roof. We're going to quickly go inside because I need to place, I need to place these other roof parts connecting to cover up these gaps. So they snap down off this two meter, just like that. And now you can just put borders around like this, tidy it up. So that's pretty much all done for the main structure of the build. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, you know, build stairs. Imagine spiral stairs or something going all the way up so you could look out of this 360 view, but. Um, this acts as the chimney so I yeah I'm just gonna leave that so if we like put in the fireplace now and we'll just leave that cooking but you'll see that the smoke will go up and it's eventually just gonna come out the sides so 
So now we're gonna get into decorating more of the outside, adding it, adding in some detail. We're gonna make this look really abstract and quite strange. But yeah, if we just begin with some of these uh, 45 degrees, and we want to come off this one and bring it down, then so we're just gonna start off on by the door. But you can do this however you want. I got 45 degrees, and you can just put these wherever you want you can have it so it's going a little bit off you know so it's not completely straight going through I might keep it like that we can have it going up to this part and, and snap it down going on both sides you know just be really strange with it if you want to keep this theme we could even go like this and have like a weird diamond shape there that looks quite cool but this is pretty much all up to you guys you know it's not really I can't tell you how to do this we've done the main structure of the house so now it's time to you know use your imagination get creative uh, right here would be worth putting a post on the end and then you know we could uh, put some some bits going through like this keep the theme going uh, we could even attach it like this you know I think that looks quite cool it's like spider web almost it looks quite unnatural uh, do it however you want to do it really we're gonna be bringing this into the floor maybe just so it lines up with this keeping like a diamond theme that's quite cool what you could do is you could add in even more like and it looks like it's kind of being held into the ground maybe you know something like that so I might I might keep it like that as well but I kind of want to snap this going a little bit further out maybe yeah totally up to you guys but I'm gonna be back I'm gonna do some things and then I'll let you know when I'll I mean I'll be back when I'm back so <laughs> all right so this is what I've come up with for the outside of mine it's quite weird quite abstract but I love it it's got a lot of different you know angles and bits and bobs scattered around uh, what would look really cool if you have fire hazards turned off just keep in mind for your playthrough you could put some torches in here I think that would be really cool you know it lights up a little little inside part but yeah so this whole time where we've been doing the outside you can see now that this doesn't get you smoked in here um, and the fire just stays out of the rain and it stays burning forever so what I'm gonna do next is just decorate all the inside and give you a little bit of a cinematic but that's pretty much the whole build guys thanks so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next video